Hi everybody, today we're going to install a DWA-556 wireless PCI Express adapter. Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So what I wanted to do this week was I wanted to show you how to install a PCI Express uh, wireless adapter. In this case, it's the DWA-556 Extreme N PCI Express adapter. So this one matches with the DIR-655 Extreme N router. But one of the things that I wanted to talk about was that um, you need to be careful about which one you buy. The DWA-552 is for standard PCI slots. Those are the longer white slots. This is a PCI Express card, um, which comes on a lot of the newer uh, motherboards, and it has a shorter black slot. So before you go purchasing, maybe you want to take a look and see what type of slot you have available in your computer. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the package and see what it comes with. In the package, you're going to find the DWA-556 adapter, three antennas, a low-profile slot cover, and the documentation. Now, if you see on the documentation here, it says don't install the software until after you're done with the hardware. So let's go ahead and do that first. Now, some computers are low profile, meaning um, that they're much thinner cases. And that's why we provided this low profile slot cover. So all you need to do is take the adapter Turn it over and remove these two screws right here to put the low profile one on. Now, just replace the screws and you have a low profile adapter. Now, not everybody's gonna need to do this. Only do it if you need to. So now what we need to do is identify a PCI Express slot. So once you've identified the slot, remove the slot cover that matches it on the adapter here, you can see that there's a little keyway that matches up with the key on the slot. So all we have to do is take and line that up and install the adapter. Next, just take and screw the antennas on, being careful not to cross thread them. And put the antennas into this position for the best results. Okay, now that we have our adapter installed and we have the antenna screwed on, we can go ahead and install the drivers for Windows. If at any time during the installation, the found new hardware wizard shows up, just go ahead and close it. After you insert the CD, you're gonna wanna use the top button that says install drivers. Now you're gonna be asked if you wanna change the default directory that the drivers are gonna be installed to. Just go ahead and click next. After a short install, you'll be asked if you want to manually configure your wireless network or use the pin method. I'm going to configure it manually, so just click the next button. Now you'll be asked to either enter the SSID or scan for available networks. So go ahead and click the scan button. Now scroll down until you find your network and select it, then press next. Now you'll be asked for the encryption passphrase for your network. Enter that and then click the next button. Now installation is complete, just click the finish button and you're done. Now you can see we're on the internet with no problems. There you go. We've installed our DWA-556 PCI Express Extreme N wireless adapter into our desktop computer and we're connected to the internet and ready to go. So that's going to do it for this episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and thanks for watching.